video on uh, how you can configure file beat and push the logs to Elasticsearch and then you can visualize the logs in Kibana. So I'll be giving you a demo. So just let's get started now. So first uh, log into the server on which uh, you have the logs and I'm already onto the server and uh, I have downloaded file bit binary so here is the binary I have extracted the file bit now go inside the file bit and this is the configuration file and this is the binary file that we need to use for running the file bit so first we will configure file bit according to our elastic search url so first what we need to do we need to create a user and a role in the elastic uh, kibana so that a file bit can push the logs so first go to the stack management and then create a role so I'm creating a role here uh, give a name test let's say demo demo one uh elastic source cluster privilege give it all i'm giving just for the demo purpose i'll delete it after creating the video so and here you need to mention the indices so let's say demo logs iphone star and just give the privilege all and create the role demo one <laughs> okay role has been created now let's create a user or demo user and then password demo user then email address uh, this is optional and here you need to select your role that you created demo one and now we are creating the user <coughs> so demo one let's see okay demo logs so let's uh, get back to our file bit so here uh, we have the uh, file bit.yml configuration file so first uh, you need to input the file path that you want to uh, the log log file path uh, the log which you want to push to kibana so i am going to this tag let's say master 3 <laughs> I have a master 3 file. I'm going to show you where log salt. And here you can see I have a file of master.3 name. So I'm using this one and I'll push this logs to Kibana. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay now uh, this is done and after that file beat elastic search you need to uh, set the uh, template also so by default it is true so you need to uh, set the ilm ilm is index 
life cycle management so you need to make it false because by default it is true and it will a file bit will create automatically a template by itself so if you don't if you want to create a template uh, template manually or create you want to create a index manually then just make it to false and template enabled false also so now uh, let's go to the output part so here uh, we are output mm, giving the output to elastic search so this is the host name protocol and a user we will use the demo user now demo user uh, let me take the backup of this file Okay, now we can modify. <clears throat> Demo user and then password that you have used during creation of the user. So, okay, and this is the index that you want to have in the Kiwana. So I'll have used demo logs. Okay, this is it and now I think everything is fine. Now just save it. Let me check whether I have having any process running or file bit or not. So it is already running. Uh, let me kill it. okay so now we can run our file bit so to run the file bit this is the command file bit hyphen e hyphen c your configuration file bit dot devil okay that's it uh, we can run it okay so connection is established okay so it started pushing the logs can check here in the index pattern okay so if you can see here our demo logs uh, came here so just to the demo logs demo log oh sorry demo logs next step and then select the timestamp and create index pattern so i have created the index pattern now i can browse it in the discover section so here uh, just choose your index pattern demo logs so yeah you can see these are the logs from master 3 it, ha it has already picked so yeah this way you can configure a file bit on any of the server and you can push the logs of that server to kibana so this is it guys thanks a lot keep subscribed